Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SG Recommends today with another MLB Show 20 video and today we're going to be talking about how to finish the 6 inning program as fast as possible. This is going to be a no money spent video as well so you're not going to have to complete any collections really unless you already have these players that'll help you out but for me I'm a no money spent player and for all my no money spent players out there I'm going to help you do this the fastest way possible so let's jump right into it. Alright so the first thing I always do is complete conquest. I just get out of the way early. You also get all those packs as early as possible any potential diamonds you can get from the packs you can sell on the market just to get the most value from it as well so that's my first tip then what i'll usually do is go into rank seasons and i'll just do this at one time i'll just complete 10 games so i'll just win 10 games so there's that and then i mean this won't be hard i do this as well the italian innings with prime players just put one prime player in your lineup all you have to do is play two games no big deal on that this will be easy and i will explain this in just a second okay so uh, hold that thought for me and then after I do that after I do all those things then I go ahead and do the showdown uh, make sure you're doing your dailies every single day that's your biggest that's my biggest tip for you as well like doing those dailies are really gonna help you boost uh, your your amount of stars per day maybe like five to ten stars per day will be acquired just from doing those dailies uh, Blake Trinan though this this is the guy that I want to look at right here for you guys so what I want to show you I believe he's gonna be right in here correct Yep. Th okay, first of all, he's, he's actually kind of dirty because he has outlier. Yep, he has outlier. So his sinker's going to be coming in at around 100 miles per hour, which is kind of crazy, to be honest. But when you want to get these saves to the program, right, for the uh, sixth inning program, play this event. So if you want to get the save, just play this event, put him in. Oh, wait, is he a prime player? That's actually inter I forgot to check that. If he's a prime player, what did I just do? But if he's a prime player, that's actually going to be clutch. Because then that'll help you get innings for that program as well. Hope he's a prime. He's not. He's a breakout. Okay, that's that's no big deal though. That's still pretty convenient that they give you this to do. Uh, saves are super easy. Uh, this event this event will be that hard as well. Here they're like the rewards for it. I'll, I'm going to break this down tomorrow actually. I'm going to do a stop making video tomorrow so you guys can stay tuned for that. But here's like the info for the event. Uh, there's no overall really overall restriction you get to use anyone you want so you can then use whatever team you want you play on all-star difficulty which is you know pretty easy and uh yeah not really that hard of an event i'll break it down tomorrow for you guys so when you get these saves and you get all this stuff done that i just broke down uh, i'm gonna do the math and i'll tell you guys exactly where we're gonna be at without even playing any innings without like the you know the math for all the innings and stuff So you will be at 195 stubs. I mean, stubs, what the heck? 195 stars without doing this Prime Series players because this is actually kind of hard to do. You're going to have to spend stubs for this. So without doing this collection, you will have 195 stars and that's without the dailies. So when you add the dailies into this too, you'll, I mean, this let's give or take three days it takes you to do all that. You'll be at probably around a 220. When you figure all the innings that you would have played by then, you'll be at around 250, maybe even more, 270 give or take so uh you know in about a week i think they're gonna release another conquest so when that conquest comes out you i mean you'll have this done in the week um if you do want to go ahead and collect all the players from the last program that will help you and i doubt you'll make any profit because it i mean it all depends on how much these guys go for these guys are only going to stay around 200k i think at the beginning i don't think they're going to go for a whole lot more uh at the beginning so i don't really know if it's worth collecting everyone from the last program so, uh, yeah, that's my biggest tip for you guys. That is the fastest way to complete the 6 inning program. If you did enjoy this video, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am going to shout out everyone from the last video. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get shouted out tomorrow, just comment on this video. And I'll shout you out in the stop making video tomorrow. So, I do want to give a shout out to Twizzy for commenting on the last video. Like I said, if you want to get shouted out, just comment on the next video. Or on this video, and I'll shout you out tomorrow. That's basically how my shout outs work. Really quickly... I will just show you guys the stats of the bosses. So there's Greg Maddox. You can pause the screen if you want. I'm just going to run through this super quickly. And then there's Stan Musial. Personally, I'm going to be getting him. He's just a beast. I'm going to put him at first base because his fielding isn't that good. Then uh, there's Jimmy Rollins. Honestly, very underwhelming. My opinion, not going to get this card. But if you're a Phillies fan, I recommend you get him. He's just an icon in Philadelphia. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe for me and peace out.